right, everybody, welcome back as we get ready for this second round of the playoff game. Coach, you guys did exactly what you wanted to do in, in Marshfield, went in there, you played taunting basketball. What do you have to do coming into this building? Same thing. We, we've got to uh, be disciplined on the offensive end, uh, you know, smart possessions, no quick possessions, and then we've got to defend their spread offense. Uh, they're five out, basically, and uh, they can shoot from any place, they can drive from any place, and we're just going to have to get some help to uh, people that are um, defending the drive. And I know I asked you earlier, we're health, you're healthy coming into tonight. No issues. No issues. Coach, the best of luck. Thank you. Thank you for the time. No problem. All right, that was Coach Stacy. Now we'll go over and talk to Coach Bowen, and we'll be right back. All right, everybody, help. welcome to Staff Gymnasium. I'm Dominic Damiano, now joined by Coach Bowen, who is no stranger to playoff basketball. Coach, here we go again in 2020. It's always great. So uh, how are we doing for injuries coming into this game? Oh, we're in good health. Everything, everybody's fine. Uh, we're all ready to go. Now, so um, what, what, what um, I know you do a lot of homework, you and you guys, as far as getting the guys ready for a game like this. What, what were you pushing in practice for this playoff game? Uh, I'm pushing that we, sh we should be tough on defense. Uh, we want to put a lot of pressure on Taunton's players. We went and saw them the other night. They've got a good young team. They're a very good team, but they're very young. So we're going to try and put a lot of defensive pressure on them. All right, Coach. All the best. Good luck. Thank you. You're welcome. We'll be back with the tip-off right after this. And now, comes. See if he daps us. He forgot us. He, for <laughs> he got caught up in a moment. Yeah, he got caught up in a moment.
Hi everybody, welcome to Staff Gymnasium. I'm Dominic Damiano, again joined by Miles Jackson as we give you quarterfinal action as our Brockton Boxers host the visiting Taunton Tigers here, Miles. Yes, and um, it's gonna be an exciting game. Brockton coming in here as the number two seed. Taunton Tigers coming here another, as number 10 seed. They somewhat in, uh, upset uh, number seven seed, Marshfield. And um, what Coach Bowen said to the Enterprise was, all 10 teams that are in this south sectional, anybody can win it. So I look for a very exciting and competitive game this evening. Absolutely, I'll tell you, I had the pleasure of doing the pregame with Coach, uh, Coach Dacey and Coach Bowen. I have never seen, they sat next to each other before the game for about 45 minutes, talked basketball, and just like that, we're underway. We'll touch on that in a minute. And we're underway here at Staff Gymnasium. And right, they work on this Harry with the ball now. He tries to get inside to McDougal. Kicks it back over to Lopes. Lopes shot, that's off. Nice board. Hustle by Santos. Exactly, good hustle on that offensive board. Brock just kind of, Brock kind of just stood there. Nice read by Robinson with the steal. See if he can finish. And he does. Wow. The way he twisted and turned right there. Excellent job. I would have ended up on the floor. <laughs> Here we go now. Again, just on the way. That's Lopes. Lopes coming by Robinson, gets it out to the big man, that's Stewart. To Santos now, trying to go around Blakely, his fadeaway. That's off, tip, Stewart with the rebound, his turnaround shot, and hits. Wow, the big man, nice offensive boards, a nice little touch in, in the paint on that jump shot. All right, now Blakely, tied at two, as you can see. Middle works inside the big man, Reed. Now Nichols goes strong. That's blocked. And he gets his own rebound off another one. Oh, what a great job by Nichols. Yeah, nice hustle. Good concentration by the big man. Stewart originally had the ball, couldn't control it. And Nichols got the ball back and laid it up. Nice. Now Lopes. Cuts it over to Santos. That's off his hand. Actually, that was Harry. I'm sorry. You know, Taunton Tigers, they're a young team. There's no seniors on their starting lineup, but on Brockton's, a very experienced team. Three seniors and two juniors. Now Blakely, as they get the call off from Coach Bowen off the bench. Biddle now inside the Nichols. Nichols out to Robinson on the other perimeter over to Blakely. Blakely stops, covered by Santos. Thinks about driving, he does. Oh, tough angle, almost laid it in, rebound. Taunton. Yeah, nice move by Blakely, just in fall. Now Harry using his speed up the baseline. He stops to get up to Santos for three. And hits. Well, uh, Taunton's first two um, jump shots have been good. So they've come to play this evening. Now Blakely, the winner of this game, is a shot by Robinson baseline. That's no good. Rebound Nichols, the big man inside off the glass for two. Nice job by Nichols. Scared me a little bit when he put the ball on the floor. He could have put it right back up and in. Yes, he could have. Got a stoppage in play. Let's see what we have here. The first foul of the game. Call that on 31. 13 white. 13 white. So that's going to be on Robinson. His first team first. As his another shot, long shot won't go. Nichols and Stewart battling. Stewart getting out rebound, trying to finish. Works in the McDougal. Can't finish. Stewart over the back. Over the back. And Stewart goes down hard. Stewart goes down hard. I might have been out on the court, Dom, if they didn't call that one. <laughs> you almost had a yikes. All right, so good news for Taunton. Stewart gets up. Here's a look at it. Oh, we just looked at it, I'm sorry. But you can see him going right over the back on the replay. Lead is one for Brockton. Now Blakely. Reed moving his little floater jump shot, won't go. Tips, gets his own rebound. Tips it back off to Blakely. Blakely now his jump shot. That's off. Rebound, Taunton. Now Harry. 
using the speed, thinking about driving, kicks up to Santos. Santos covered by Blitley. Baseline, Harry. And then I won't go McDougal on the rebound. Blocked by Nichols. Nice job there. Now Biddle. You're gonna have an offensive rebound, offensive foul on Biddle. Yeah, good positioning by number two for Ron Taunton. He had the position. Harry, Tristan Harry, draws the foul. Now off the rebound, off the inbound pass, I'm sorry. Lopes gets it over to half court, gets over to McDougal. And that's blocked, nice job by Reed. We'll have a stop and just play McDougal checks out. Yeah, that was a nice defensive play by Navon. You see it here. Navon with the long arms and is clearly out of bounds by the Taunton player. Number 35, McDougal. And off of that shot, Reach can't finish. Now here comes Santos for Taunton. Over to Lopes. Harry now on the far side. They work it around. Stewart, the big man, over to Santos. Trying to go around Blakely. Lost the ball. Nice move by Robinson on the steal. Feeds Reed and yes. lays it up. Beautiful defensive play and teamwork on the getting that pass down, getting that ball down quickly to a streaking Navon Reed. Now checking in for Ton. That's the big man. We'll give you his name in a minute. Number 21. That's Mass. They're working inside. Stewart around Nichols, trying to make a move. Kicks it back out to Mass. Mass thinking about it. Now he takes a three. Won't go. Rebound Nichols. Yeah, nice position by Nichols there. Loving the way they're, they're watching, boxing, boxing him out early in this first, yeah. first period. Now Robinson tried to feed it to Nichols. Nicely read by Taunton in transition. Lopes off the glass and in. job there, they had a three on one break. Lopes did a nice job protecting the basketball. Reed with the move, on the rebound, finishes, wow. wow. That was a, he got blocked, took his own ball back, and somehow got it up there. Now Santos gets it over to Henry, Henry as they're at half court. Now of course inside the Brock, his little jump shot. Won't go, rebound Nichols. Now Robinson in transition. Over to Biddle. Reed didn't focus, lost. He thought about doing something prior to having the ball. Heck, did they have the ball first before you can make a play? Gotta have the ball first. He was ready to make a play before, just split second before he got that basketball. The boxes are gonna go with fresh bodies, couple of them. Xavier checks in, Bento checks in, and Ulibu checks in for Brockton. Now Lopes, trying to move on Xavier. Won't go, rebound Bento. There's Ulibu now, up to Robinson for three. Won't go, in and out. What a great drive, what a great steal. Yeah, Taunton doesn't like it, but it was a close, close couple, it was like, Robinson knocked it off the uh, Taunton player and went out of bounds. Absolutely. Now Olubu. Rockton has three fresh bodies here. Xavier for a long three, hits wow. off the glass. Oh. And, and that's his specialty. When he comes into the game, there's a good chance he's gonna hit a few. Now Harry. Santos covered by Olubu. Out the Lopes, Lopes almost lost the ball. Works it around, Mass driving baseline. Trying to go on Bento, feet Stewart inside, but he's fouled, and that should be on Olivu if I read the refs right, 3-1. Again, again, Dom, I think one of the keys to this game as far as Taunton goes, how good is Taunton's bench? come in here, we know what um, Brockton's bench is like, but how good is Taunton's bench? Exactly, we have a roster problem here in the game. They're saying that Bento did not check in. He's on the official book. Right. 
Yeah, what it is, the, 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 the Taunton scorekeeper swears that he, that, that, that they put in 45, but they looked at the official book and the official book has it correctly. All right, now Lane getting ready to check in for the boxers. I'm thinking he's gonna take out probably Reed, give Reed a breather if I was coaching. All right, so Stewart's gonna shoot a couple. The lead is six for the boxers. This is the first. And I guess, Coach, I guess right. Yeah, I know uh, Navon's got, I believe, one foul. That's it. Come on, gotta get the ball. 121 officially left in this period. We hope you enjoyed this coverage of Brockton Boxer Boys Basketball here on Brockton Community Access TV. And now Ola will again, 115 now left in this period. Now Lane, directs on the other side to Robinson, back out to Lane. Lane thinking about going around Mass, he stops, gets the Bento. Xavier thinking three, he's driving, kicks it over to Ola, they switch positions. And they end up kicking it back out to Lane. Bang. That's why he's my favorite player. That's Lane. So smooth. He's so smooth he doesn't even know it. As long as he's having fun. Now under a minute left in the game. Now Santos. Stewart. Harry thinking about doing it. He stops, he gets double teamed, he's in trouble. Kicks out to the foul line, the lopes to Stewart. Stewart but covered by Bento. He's gonna try to drive, use his speed and his reach. One hander, won't go. Bento on the floor and we're gonna have a jump ball. Nice call by the official. Yeah, good call by the official, great effort by Bento, denying the big man for Taunton. Good shot, might see it here. Yeah, the, the big man for Taunton almost had that and Bento took it right away from him. Yeah, Mass for, for Taunton High. Under 15 seconds left in the period, let's see if they can let the period run out. Don't really have to get a shot off, there's no shot clock. Now he's gonna try to do something, all of them, here we go. Bento for long three. <laughs> And that's how the Terry will end with your score of Brockton 19, Taunton 8. The boys do not look like they missed a step with a week off. No, they didn't. You'll see here in the replay, Brockton did a nice job winding down that clock. And Bento hit the nice little jump at the top of the key. And that was good um, clock management right there. Coach Bowen and his team doing what they had to do to not let Taunton get another shot off. Absolutely. Here's a look at the Taunton bench right now. Again, Miles Jackson, I'm Dominic Damian, the rest of the Brockton Community Access Sports TV crew. And, and what I see right now, Dom, as far as Brockton, they're doing a good job rebounding on the offensive end as well as the defensive end. Um, especially do well on the defensive end. Don't let Titan just get one shot, get that rebound, and uh, come back and score. Absolutely. Uh, one thing Miles and I are going to try to do in this game, we're going to try to give you an update from Catholic Memorial as they host BC High. If we can get that, we're gonna try to do our best to give you some updates because the winner of that game will play the winner of this game. All right, so here we go as we get start the second period. Harry had to get over to Mass. He's double he teamed tightly by Lane. Now Lopes covered by Xavier. Oh, it looked like he slipped his pivot foot there for a yeah. minute. Lopes. He's so quick. Absolutely. Now Harry with excellent speed. He's double teamed on the baseline, trying to do something. Kicks it all the way to Santos for three. That's short. Good hustle by Lopes for Taunton High. They get a fresh 30 seconds. Now Harry yeah. down by nine. Good hustle by Lopes. Santos now trying to go around lane. You just beat his float off the glass. That won't go. Rebound the smallest, one of the smallest men in the court, Robinson in transition. Olawu now, Lane wasn't ready, but he grabbed it. Now to Robinson. Robinson trying to go on around Harry. Kicks it back off to Xavier for a deep three. Bang, off the glass. Wow. That's strength right there. And that's one of Brockton's strength is their bench. They hold their own. Now Mass, all over to Santos. Just underway here in the second period. Stewart's trying to draw. We're going to have a block at the foul. We're going to call that on. See it right here. 
Long ball, bang, up, right off the glass, pretty shot. And, and, and that's what I'm talking about, bench. You've got one, well, um, what you call it, just came back, Diamond Blakely just came back in. But you had four bench players out there just before Diamond came out. Came San in. Now Santos lost the ball in transition. Blakely's gonna try, but he's blocked. Nice hustle by Harry. Quick um, Tauntons. Oh, he just lost the ball. I don't think, did he? Did yeah, he did. He, yeah, he did. He got a piece of it. All right, after that, Bento's shot was no good if you go back to live action here. Now when the game is choked, oh. oh. Good hustle, man. That was a Larry Bird type of um, yeah, it was. hustle there. So for Taunton High right now, they have Lopes, Choate, uh, let me see, Mass, Harry, and I'm missing a guy, and Stewart. Now Choate. That could have been a backcourt, almost a backcourt, lost, lost the ball. Yeah, good defense. Defense caused that turnover right there. Brockton really being aggressive on defense giving Taunton all kinds of problems. If you want to move on, you got to cause headaches. And you got to hit your shots. All right, so here we go. Now Bento, baseline kicks out the Olawu from the other baseline and hits. That was smooth. Yep, Olawu contributing. Now Lopes, baseline to choke back out to Lopes. Lopes turns long three. Nice rebound by Harry, smallest guy in the court. There's Choate for three. Mm. Nothing but bottoms. Now Olawu. Looks like Biddle and Reed and Robinson are gonna check in in a minute. Olawu lost the ball, good recovery by that young man. Kicks it out to Blakely for three. In and out. Rebound Taunton. Harry driving Lopes, baseline stops, kicks up the choke for another three. Won't go, Bento and Stewart battle. Yeah, nice decision by Bento. You'll see here on replay. Leave us the long bomb by Schott. All right, come back to live action. Taunton has taken their first time out. 5-11 officially left. Now as everyone can see back home, 24. Why isn't it 24-11? He might be down a basket here. Yeah, let's give that Brockton bench an A+. Plus. They didn't miss a beat yeah. when the starters came out. And um, just doing an excellent job here. It's nice to see the kids making shots. Keeps yeah. their confidence up. It, it, they really do. And they're, they're just, you know, at that bench, we talked, we, we saw this all year long. They are so strong and they are so focused. When they're focused, I mean, look what they did. They, they took Catholic, they took uh, Cambridge Ridge and Latin to the limit and they were able to, and that's a very good opponent, they were able to take them and come back and win that game in overtime. And now they're in the situation right here where they've grown up and they're, uh, and uh, they know what they need to do to go to the next round. Exactly, because as you know, this is do or die. Whoever loses, they go home for the rest of the year. Yeah. And they don't want to hear a losing score in four deep sports talk on Saturday. <laughs> <laughs> All right. They sure so, don't. So here we go. Now Blakely off the inbound. Five minutes left in the half. Biddle now back in the game. We'll give you some, now Nichols as well. Nichols trying to move his big. He's blocked by Stewart. That's tipped. It's out of play. It's going to be Taunton Ball. That was a good block. Thought I saw some contact. All right, now off the inbound, here comes Lopes. Lopes now, top of the key. Actually went back almost to half court on that one. Robinson backed him all the way up. Now at the baseline, there's Mass. Mass now over to Stewart, covered by Nichols. Back to Lopes, covered by Robinson. 4.30 left in this first half. Now thinking about driving, using his speed, tries to dish it out to Stewart. Nichols didn't realize he blocked it. Didn't. And Stewart finished. Yeah, Taunton took advantage of that right there. Now Biddle kicks it back out, blocked by Stewart. Tries to feed it in. It's going to stay. Should be 
Yep, it's going to stay Brockton ball as Stewart tried to keep it in. Off the inbound. There's Reed. There's Biddle. Uh, excuse me, Blakely covered by Harry. Now he's going to drive. Oh, nice move right to left. And Stewart blocks that one. That was still a nice move by Diamond Blakely. Throws the defensive player for a second, but the big man was back up and blocked the shot. Now off the inbound. Blakely thinking about driving and working away. Started up the play again. Fiddle to Robinson. Robinson out. Here's jumper. Bang. Hits. And I think he hit it just as the 30 second clock went down. He did just as it released his hand. Now off the inbound. Brockton Adam pressure. Harry almost gets his pocket picked by Biddle. Works it over to Stewart inside, covered by Nichols. Back out to Harry. He tries to switch it up. Stops, blocked by Nichols. Great job by, by um, Nichols on that defensive play right there. Just denied the Taunton player from passing the ball or shooting the ball. Now Biddle. Santos on him for Taunton, drives to his left, he stops. Got up to big man Nichols. Nichols trying to oh, prove the point. Should have been a, this should have been a call right there. He was hacked. Now off the end by Robinson with a nice play off the steal. Poetic justice right there, Dom. Great play by Robinson. Now Harry. The lead is 15 for, Bro for Brockton. We have a jump ball on the floor. Possession arrow goes in favor of, and I apologize for that. Oh, it looks like, uh, uh oh. You'll see it right here. Blakely, excuse me, Robinson, excellent job stealing that ball, anticipating the, the pass. Harry has to take a break. He actually played Pop Warner football for me. Wow. Great good, kid. Good, good build. Fast. All right, so here we go. 250 left in the half. The lead is 15 for the boxers. Oh, Biddle lost the ball because Santos picked his pocket. Yeah, that was, that was Blakely. Oh, camera guy, someone just got a free pose on that <laughs> picture. We'll see that on Channel 9. Now off the inbound, Reed back in the game. Covered by Mass, baseline. Works to the, to the quarter of the perimeter. Now he drives, uses the tries. Oh, Ellie Goop tries to go around Stewart. Nichols there to help. Excellent hustle. Robinson doesn't get the bounce. Rebound, Taunton. Yeah, they've done a good job with um, Navon Reed on defense. Santos for a jumper, won't go. On the floor, Mass, that's tipped. But recovered by the Tigers, Mass now. And big Mass is down, big man. Yeah, Stewart's Stewart, down, me, Stewart. that's all right. That was a severe battle, you had the Goliaths going on, four big Goliaths, two from Taunton, two from, two from Brockton. Yeah, excellent call right there, Goliaths. Some big guys banging bodies and hitting the floors. So Nichols comes out. Robinson comes out. And we'll give you the other change. There's a shot baseline. Santos won't go. That's tipped. I'm going to say it was last touched by. I'm thinking Bento because he's one of the tall guys. Yeah. So Xavier checks back in and so does Olawu in lane for the boxers. 157 left in this half. The first half. Shout now. Lopes looked, thought he had a shot, stopped. Back out to Choke, covered by Lane. Over to Lopes again, top of the key, drives to his right, covered by Olawu. It's 15 seconds left in the shot clock, kicks it all the way up to Santos. With a minute 40 left in the half and running. Now driving, stops. Mass, Lopes for a long shot. Rebound Bento for Brockton High. Brockton doing an excellent job on his zone defense. It's like a 2 1 2. Defense and they're playing it to perfection. Now Olawu. Great crowd here on both teams. Yeah, great crowd. 
Now Bento, they look at all the way around, stepping in front of that one, and almost having a steal was Choke. He stood right in front of Xavier. You can't look at, you have to be quick on those passes. Yeah, he had the steal, he just stepped out of bounds with it. Now Ola will choke. He's gonna try to finish. Uh -huh. Oh, nice block. In nice. transition, Reed. That was excellent defense by um, Xavier. I think it was more intimidation than anything. Let's see it. Xavier, he didn't even touch it, it was just intimidation. And then we had a foul on the floor by Taunton, I believe. Yes, yes. Banged into Navon. Long three. Bang! Hits. There we go. Kick's hot. It's hot. Two, two for three from deep range. That's a, that, that tells you something. You remember that? <laughs> now Lopes. 40 seconds left in the half. Mass tries to finish, and he does with a nice left hand off the glass. And Santos lost the ball. It will be Brockton's ball. Yeah. With 30.9 tenths of a second left in this half. Yeah, olawu has got to be careful when he's out there because Taunton, they're going to really be desperate in the second half. They're going after that ball with the guards. Now Olawu covered by Santos. 20 seconds left in the half. Yeah, it, it's a three, three second difference on the shot clock in the um, end of the first half. Waiting to make a move, eight seconds left in the shot clock. Now kicks it over to Lane, moves, he's blocked by Stewart. In transition, Santos trying to try to get by two Brockton players, and he does. Nice shot, protecting the ball. Coach Bowen's not happy about that. No, he wasn't. He had two defenders right there, and none of them challenged the shooter. Your thoughts before we step away, sir? Well, I, I just love Brockton's defense. Excellent defense, giving Taunton's all kinds of fits. Had, had They haven't let Taunton really get in the groove. Taunton hit a few shots early on, but after that, the boxes uh, clamped down with their tough defense, and their offense has really come, on, come along because of the defense. There you go. There's Miles Jackson. I'm Dominic Damiano and the rest of the Brockton Community Access Sports TV crew. Miles and I will be back with the second half. And there's your score, Brockton 31, Taunton 17. We'll be back at, with second half action right after this. Hi everybody, welcome back to Staff Gymnasium. I'm Dominic Damiano, joined by Miles Jackson and the rest of the Brockton Community Access Sports TV crew. They're at the half, getting right about a minute left. And we got a couple scorers for you, and I want to thank uh, Mr. Mr. Choate to my right, keep doing the scores for Taunton High School. He helped us out with a little bit of the Taunton stats, but uh, right now, Xavier, I guess I owe that man an apology. He's three for three for, for Brockton High. He's hot. Oh my God, yes. And then you got Reed and Robinson with six. Wow, there are your scorers now for, for Brock, for Taunton High, you have uh, Trent Santos, number three, I'll say his number because people don't know him. Number three has five points, number 35, excuse me, number 15, the big center is Tyler Stewart. He has five. And you have uh, Nigel Cho who came in off the bench with a three-pointer, and that's the big, and then you have uh, uh, Faisal Mass with two, and Josh Lopes with two. With, uh, two. So those are the scorers for uh, Taunton High. Again, the winner of this will take on the winner of excuse me, Boston College High School and Catholic Memorial, and we tried to look for something. We looked everywhere trying to get an update at the half, and no one's given us any updates out there in uh, social media land. Yeah, well, I'll tell you what Brockton has done to this Taunton offense has basically shut them down. Um, again, early in the game, Taunton had a couple of good out, two or three outside shots, but after that, um, the boxers clamped down on defense, and um, Taunton's been a frustrated team. All right, let's see who brought, we'll let you know who brought to come out with a half just like that underway. McDougal back in the, oh, Stewart, I'm sorry, he's in the game. His turnaround shot won't go. Rebound, Blake, long pass to Reed. He's going to try to finish. And we're going to have a foul. It's the only reason why he didn't finish. Navon tried to bring it home with the slam, but he was fouled, so he'll go to the free throw line. Yeah, let's go to Charity Stripe, through it, shoot a couple. And I love calling that with authority because every time a kid does that's with authority. That's a lot of, 
not just height, but a lot of uh, strength in the Strength, that. yeah. Taunton player did a good job of uh, denying Navon the uh, dunk. All right, misses the first. And he misses the second. Rebound, nice job by Biddle. Biddle now baseline feeds oh, inside. Oh, oh. oh, Nichols can't finish. That ball's out there. Blakely tipped, he got it back. Now he's feeds him to Nichols. Nichols needs to get his confidence inside. Little nice. floater. Nice job hook. by Diamond to feed it back into Blakely. He needs to get it. Nichols needs to get his confidence. I'm, excuse me. You know what I mean? Inside, because yeah. Stewart really. Baton, I really took control of him inside. Yep, I mean, uh, Diamond did a nice job feeding it to the big man, Blakely. That shot won't go in transition. Here comes Biddle and finishes. Biddle was streaking down like a wide receiver, and Robinson saw him. Timeout, timeout, Taunton. Your score, as you can see, 30, well, we got 35 boxes, 35. The Tigers, 17, 7 10, just underway in the third quarter. And they have not lost a step since last time we brought from the first half. And again, Brockton's defense is producing Brockton offense. So just some great plays by the defense. And um, they've capitalized by taking advantage on the offensive end on those great defensive plays. And there's a look at Coach Bowen as he talks to the troops. He knows how deep his bench is. And it was kind of, it was, you know, him and Coach Dacey for Todd and I are such good friends. Wow. Too close to home. Too close to home. Wow. That's right down the road <laughs> off 18. And we'll talk about that maybe later. <laughs> yeah. But, but uh, on a lighter note, Coach Baum went right over to Coach Stacy and said, I can't even get on my court in practice having the Cape Cod Pizza Tournament. <laughs> and them little, little, they had the little itty-bitty kids out there, and they were hitting the shots. They were. Future boxes. All right, off the inbound. Brockton going to that. Would you call that more of a trap defense? Yeah, that's, that's a trap defense. Full court trap. Now Mass inside to McDougal. And finishes. Nice job by McDougal. Yep, nice job by Taunton to break that press. Now Blakely covered by Santos. Over to Robinson, his three. That's too long. Nichols there for the offensive board. Blakely thinking about shooting. It works it inside the Nichols. The big man uses frame. That's blocked by Stewart again. Now Lopes. Lopes going to try to finish his floater. Oh, where, where was the foul? I'd like to take a look at that. Let's where see. was the foul? That was good defense by Diamond Blakely. Let's see here. Maybe the, yeah. oh, the, maybe the left arm a little bit. We, right. we can call that a ticky-tack foul, but good defense by Blakely. I think the book has that down as his third foul. Lopes hits the other one. Again, just underway in the third quarter. Now Blakely covered by Santos. Middle had the ball, lost the ball. He slips on the parquet. Now he gets fouled. Nice job driving to the basket, Dom. Absolutely. They're going to call that on mass. And Biddle to the charity stripe. Hits the first. And, and a lead like this. Free, free, free throws are important to the team that has the lead. Brockton, in this case, they need to make those free throws. Absolutely. Lopes gets the screen off Stewart. Over to McDougal. McDougal works it in to Stewart. A little, a little uh, change there between the two big men. One going inside the paint, one coming back down. Uh, like a fancy old-fashioned give and go there for a minute. Yeah, Stewart did a nice job with the head fake. Had um, Nichols commit. And got the foul. Body contact. All right, so he goes to the charity stripe. Hits the first. Very good player, <laughs> this, this uh, Tyler Stewart, number 15, 6'5", sophomore, junior, excuse me, hits them both. 14-point lead with 6.05 is still a lot of basketball left. Absolutely. 
Now over Robinson baseline. Almost got the ball. Yeah. Threw it on the rebound for the Tigers. Yeah, Robinson squared up nicely. Just couldn't hit the shot. Biddle originally stole the ball. Now Stewart's little jump shot won't go. Rebound, Brockton. Now Blakely in transition. Robinson driving baseline. They're going to get him for the travel. Forget to dribble the ball. Oh. I swear that's one of the hardest um, calls to make by a referee sometimes. Now Lopes, 540 left and running left in this third quarter. Covered by Robinson, thinking about driving right downtown. He'll stop, he'll take a jump shot. That's off, rebound, Nichols the big man. And he smartly plays it off McDougal because he was losing his composure and his, his body weight was taking him out of bounds. Yeah, excellent job there. And actually, he held his composure and, and, and had sense enough to hit it off the um, Totten player. All right, now Blakely covered by Santos. Biddle now covered by McDougal, trying to make a move. Kicks it back over to Robinson, the senior. Biddle now. They switch it up, Santos. Now read the big man inside the Nichols. Uses his body weight wow. in good position. Great That's job. what he has to do. Great job there. You can't go toe to toe, so you gotta move him away a little bit unless you're dribbling, you know? Oh, and there's a steal by the boxers. Here comes Robinson. Whoa. Oh, the read, they can't finish, nice try. And a jump ball. Almost, I'd say the crowd would've went to their feet on that one. Oh my God. The the staff gymnasium would've been rocking. Absolutely. You almost ruined Ortiz court for a minute on that one. So it will be Brockton ball courtesy of the possession arrow after the jump ball call. You we'll see it here on replay. Ah, oh, just couldn't quite finish it. Now off the inbound, here's Biddle now. I'm sorry, here we go, now back to live action. Here we go, there's Biddle trying to cross up Santos. Kicks out the Bento for a jumper. Won't go, tipped. And nice hustle by Blakely on the other side. All the way over, Biddle. Like about three, he'll drive, works inside the Bento, and Santos. What are they gonna call? Offensive foul? Wow. They're call offensive foul on Biddle. Wow. Wow. So it'll be an inbound ball in their own end as Choate checks back, checks in for the, for the Tigers. There's Lopes, they're gonna get Robinson for the push. Lead is 16 for the boxes. 4-16 left in the third period. Boxes play is a little perplexed after those last two calls. Now Choate all the way over that tip towards us. Nice job by Robinson. Oh, he lost his marbles yeah, on that he one. Did. Our viewing audi audience might have heard that because I heard it. I I didn't hear. I'm, I'm gonna just call that a yikes. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, you know they heard it. A <laughs> uh, lot, lot of energy out there on the court. A lot of energy. All right, we are going to want to take a second off the shot clock, off the inbound. That sounds right. the inbound. Oh, nice job initially by Riddle, but they can't finish it. Stewart, the big man, does finish. Yeah, good patience by Stewart. Let the um, defense commit. They almost lost the ball. Reed, Mass, over to Choate, over to Lopes, trying to make a move, off the glass, can't finish. Bento with it there. They're gonna have a foul. See what they call that on. I thought Boss uh, Brockton caught a break right there on the foul. Calling that on Choate or Taunton High. 3.54 left in this third period. Now Biddle. That's actually Blakely. Blakely, sorry. Can't believe I did that <laughs> after all these games. Blakely now, thank you. Bento, he's three. 
bang. That's the second big outside shot this game. Absolutely. All right, here we go. 3.30 and running left in this third period. Rockin trying to extend their lead. Gets it over to Mass now. Mass loses it from Lopes. Steps back over to Choke. Choke covered by Xavier who's now in the game. Inside the Lopes. Off the glass, won't go. Stewart off the rebound. They're gonna get Bento for the foul. Good defense e either way. Taunton didn't make the shot. They're gonna have to make it at the free throw line. Absolutely. But good defense by the boxes. Good free throw shooter here with Tyler Stewart. And he proved me right again. Yep, Tyler's been very consistent this evening. Absolutely. On the free throw line. Harry checks in for the Tigers. Mass checks out for the Tigers. All right, here we go. 3-13 and running. Now Blakely, I got a guy right. My, there's Lane in the game. Lane covered by Harry. See if he tries to drive. Oh, what a nice oh, crossover. Oh. And his fadeaway can't finish. Nice try. Rebound Tigers. Boy, he had his ankles. That should have been a foul. And then Lane picked his pocket. Lane's going to try to finish. Locked by Stewart. Of a foul on the floor. They're going to call that on Bento. Wait, that was a great defensive play by Taunton on um, Isaac Lane. But a great defensive play by Isaac. Absolutely. Now off the inbound. Lopes is going to try to fish him with a foul on the floor. They're going to call that on. I'm trying to get the numbers right. That's not on. Oh, they're going to call that on Robinson? That's not good because now we're now the box is have uh, put Taunton in the penalty. He finishes the three-point play, play. Excuse me, the lead is 12. Yep, the Taunton crowd has woken up. 2.43 left in this third period. Xavier now, covered by Choke. Back over to Robinson. Robinson's gonna try to drive, float it too high. We're gonna call an offensive foul on Robinson. I didn't see it. I didn't see a lot of contact by Robinson. He, in matter of fact, he tried to avoid the contact. I'm thinking they call him because he was in the general vicinity and now Santos. Oh, come on, come on! He had his position. Foul called. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. Xavier had his position on the play. Let's see it. Am I wrong? No, he had his position. Yeah, Bad he, call by the referee. I thought he had. I thought he had his feet down. He had his feet down. All right, so here we go. So Santos will shoot a couple. The lead is 12. This is the first. Olawu and Reed will check in for Blakely and Robinson. So we got two fresh legs out there for the boxers. 2.27. You can hear the Brockton crowd takes a shot, hits the second. With 2.27 left in the third period. Reed is 11. Reed now lost the ball for a minute. They'll try to go around Stewart. Bento, and you're gonna have a foul, and a, yes, two and one. Great job by Bento to go in there aggressively and get that offensive board, uh, offensive rebound and put it right back up. Chance for a three-point play here. Right here, trying to extend the Brockton lead with 2.16 left in the third period. Takes the shot, hits it, finishes the play. Off the inbound, here comes Harry playing with a bad knee. Tough kid. Mass getting ready to check in for the Tigers. Now Harry covered by Xavier, over to Lopes, covered by Oliver, wide open to Santos. Wow. And hits. Wow. That was clutch. The lead is back to 11. Under two minutes left to play in the third period. Lane now, we're gonna get him for the travel, to yeah. the dribble the ball. Yeah, he did travel on that one. So Choke will take in, Mass will come in for Choke with 1.52 left 
in the period. Now Harry covered by Lane. Thinking about driving, then he dri double dribble. Close. Baseline, Lopes gonna take a shot. That's long, rebound Stewart for Taunton High. They try to dry up Bento. Can't finish. Tries to get his own rebound. Another foul. Boy, that, that was a gallant effort by Stewart. He hung tough. Bento's, gonna, Bento's in trouble now. He's a chance to foul. I think that's number four. That might be five. Still got a lot of time left. Yep, that's his fourth. So Nichols is gonna do a lot of legwork here in the fourth quarter. 1.30 left in this period, and here comes Nichols. Can't finish the play, rebound Bento. Here comes Oliver. See if he drives by himself. Kicks it baseline, Xavier. That's too long, rebound Tigers. Wolf was, Wolf was thinking about going home running that, having originally got the ball. Now Stewart, back over to Lopes. Now Harry, covered by Lane, inside to Stewart. Off the glass. Stewart stepping up here in the third quarter. Xavier now, lost the ball, tipped by Stewart. 54 seconds left in the third period. Lead is seven. Inside to Stewart now, trying to go around Bento. They're gonna have a jump ball, that's the right call. Nichols going for Bento. Bento played a great third quarter there. One tough call called on him. Timeout, timeout Brockton. Your score, as you can see, the, bar, the Tigers are chipping away, 45-38. 42.5 tenths of a second left in the third period. The box is gonna get that rhythm back. Yeah, and um, Tigers, that was a great third quarter for the, well, it's not, third quarter's not over, but good third quarter for the Tigers. Absolutely. Um, Brockton had some tough calls on them, but they, they, they gotta overcome that and um, Get some shots down. Yep, absolutely. All right, so Coach Bowen's going to try to calm down the troops as you look at the, the Brockton bench. Just trying to grab the guy's composure. Nichols knows he's going back out there. Bento's in trouble. I'm not sure about Reed. Actually, Xavier's a big guy too, so you get that. That's definitely another bonus for the boxers. All right, so the box is going to go with Lane, Xavier, Nichols, Olawu, and Reed. With 42.5 tenths of a second left in the third period. Taunton's going to go with Lopes, Stewart, Santos, Mass, and Harry to finish up this third quarter. And there's your score, 45-38. The lead is seven. Harry off the inbound all the way out to Lopes, covered by Olawu. 10 seconds on the shot clock. Harry all the way over to Lopes. Inside to Stewart, feeds it inside the mass. Blocked oh, by oh. Reed. Rebound. Now in transition, here comes Reed. Kind of a foul on the floor. A great defense by Reed to deny the Taunton player. They're gonna get mass for the block. Now off the inbound, there's Olawu. Shot clock is off, 20, 19 seconds and running left in this period. See what he does. Trying to go around Santos, he stops. 10 seconds. He drives himself, little floater blocked. Four seconds left. Harry lopes and try to get it off, desperation. It won't go, we're gonna have a foul. Yeah. Xavier followed him as he was attempting a three-point shot, so that's how we'll start the fourth quarter with your score, Brockton 45, Taunton 38. So he's gonna go to the shot, charity strap for three of them. Yeah, Brockton just has to keep their composure. 
I couldn't see with, if there was a foul because it was right in front of the taunt bench. Right, I'm trying to switch with the monitor too. Because you're right, we can't see anything from this side. But um, Taunton has clawed themselves back into this um, basketball game going into the fourth quarter. So the Tigers are complaining that Lopes can't concentrate on the rim because the quarter buzzer light is still around on the backboard. So they're going to have to shut off the lights, basically just set the quarter and just don't start the quarter. There we go. See, I'm a genius. You need to get over there. <laughs> they don't want me over there. <laughs> something might be sparking or something, you know. All right, so now he'll take another shot. Are they going to make? They're not going to give him three more shots, are they? They are going to give yeah, him three more give shots. Three. There's the first. Misses it. So the light was irrelevant. The exactly. light was irrelevant. Exactly. Here's his second shot. Hits the second. Lead is six. Hits them both. Lead is five now as we start this fourth quarter. Let's see if the boxers can get there. Taunton has definitely settled down and starting to play Tiger ball, Tiger basketball. And they've got their, their crowd is right behind them. Giving them a lot of support as well as Brockton's crowd has given their team, the boxers, big time support here at Staff Gymnasium. So it will be Brockton's ball, excuse me, Taunton's ball on the inbound right at half court. Again, Miles Jackson, I'm Dominic Danny on the rest of the Brockton Community Access TV crew as sports crew as we give you quarterfinal action. And he's still acting like it's timeout. They could get teed up here. They don't come up. All right, so now they come out of the huddle. And the box is going to go with Reed, Nichols, Robinson, Blakely, and Biddle. Taunton's going to go with Harry, Lopes, Mass, Stewart, and Santos to start this fourth quarter. Lopes now inside the Mass. Out to Harry for a shot. Won't go. Rebound Nichols. And here comes Mr. Blakely running the offense for the boxers. Reed will try to drive and he's fouled all day. And that's what need, Reed needs to do in this fourth quarter, step up. He's strong enough, just go, go to the hole. And, and, and hopefully the rest will call a foul. He's a strong kid. All right, so here we go. Let's see how Mr. Reed did. Last time up he missed both of them. See if we can extend this Brockton lead. The first one, he hits, good for him. Brockton has brought the lead back up to six. Hits the second one. All right, so here we go. In the middle, there's Stewart, they open it up. Brockton playing that trap. Now Harry. Over to Stewart. Mass. And you can say it's last touch by a Brockton player, so it'll stay. It'll stay Tigers ball in the Brockton end. 7.25 left in the game. Just underway here in the fourth period. Harry. Santos. Harry inside. Mass. His turnaround jump shot. Won't go. Too many boxes watching for the yeah, rebound. Yeah, watching. They got to go after that ball. Biddle's jump shot. Won't go on the follow through. Eight Reed. Five. Thank God. Too many guys watching yeah, that ball. Yeah, watching that um, defensive ball um, on the defensive boards. Somebody's got to go after that ball. Santos now. Santos. Lopes too strong. Stewart. And they're going to get a foul oh, on Nichols. Oh, come on. Where was the foul? They call a push. 
All Nichols can do is do is, is the follow up on the replay. Nice job by Reed. Yeah. So oh. Stewart will shoot a couple. God, that. I, I did not like that call. That was, that was something. Stewart hits the first. Here's the second. Hits them both. That's the lead to seven. Now Blakely. To Reed. Covered by Mass. His floater and he's fouled. Oh, he almost, oh Where, no call. No call. Where is he? He was knocked down. Now Harry. Trying to go around Biddle. Lopes. Definite body contact and no call. On the far side is Stewart. Trying to drive around Nichols. Works himself a little give and go. Santos is fade away and hits. Approaching six minutes left in the game. The boxes lead is down to five. And, and the refs are, refs are taking over this game. They're going to call a blocking foul on Reed. I mean, on Nichols. And that, that was a pick. Yep. Legit pick. And... Now the referees are getting involved in the game, dictating this game. Six minutes left in the game. The lead is five, as you can see, 49-44. Stewart now, over the Lopes, almost got his, almost picked by Robinson. His floater won't go, tipped, and recovered by Taunton. Over the far side, Harry's gonna drive baseline, feed inside the mass, and gonna get him for a travel. Good call. Finally. 543. See if the boxers can get their rhythm back to end the game. Great job by the Taunton Tigers competing in this game tonight. Now Blakely over the middle, covered by Harry. Tries to cross him up. His jumper won't go. Rebound Stewart. Oh, and Reed almost picked the pocket, but recovering his lopes. Won't go on the floor. Come on, he's traveling. Jump ball, possession arrow goes in favor of the boxers. You get the right, well, you get the rough side, you get the thing with the roughs. They don't know what, here's a replay as uh, Blakely went to the now, floor. Now, now, he's just walking around throwing elbows. All right, five minutes left, approaching five minutes left in the game. The lead is five, 49 44, as you can see. Brockton retrying the drive. They're going to call an offensive foul on Reed. I, I, I don't know. He did, It looked like he didn't have the position there. There's a lot of contact. And Stewart was moving. Well. All right, so here's it. let's see what happens here. Lopes now. Tigers are in the bonus now. One more, and then the boxes will be in the single bonus. Harry now. Driving long wow. at the glass. And nice finishes. job. Nice job by that man with the bum knee. Now Blakely. Robinson. He's Nichols for a pick. He's going to try to drive off the glass, and he does. Oh, that was a beautiful drive to the left-hand side. Tiger, Tiger defense broke down right there, Dom. Absolutely. Now Lopes. See what he does here. Thinking about getting over the mass. He's in trouble. Trying to pivot over to the other side. Off the glass, won't go. Rebound Brockham. Biddle now in transition to try to hurry. Try to go around Stewart. Oh, oh, he was hammered. He was hammered and no call. They're going to let him play with 350 left in the game. Now Lopes from downtown. That won't go. Rebound. Tipped. Originally by Biddle. Robinson's going to try to finish. And he does. And there's no call. With 335 left. Timeout. Timeout, Tigers. The boxes have come back and extended their lead to seven, but not before a very resilient 
And tough Tigers team have kept this close, but the officiating oh, has been, something to say. Oh my God, it's been terrible for the boxers. They have unbelievable non-calls on offense, then on picky ticky tack calls on defense. Somehow the boxers got to overcome the calls here, keep their composure. The only ones to be screaming is, is um, Coach Bowen. Because, oh, he, um, oh, he has. <laughs> <laughs> and so did Coach Dacey. Because the Brockton boxes had not gotten a break here in the fourth, fourth quarter. Not at all. Here's your situation. 3.32 left as we come out of this timeout. And again, as you can see in your monitor, 53-46. So the boxes are one, uh, one foul away from going into the signal bonus. To the boxes' credit. They've been in the double, they've put Taunton in the double bonus, but Taunton has yet put themselves in the situation to use the double bonus. And that sounds correct, right? Yeah. I don't think I've seen him run to the charity stripe in the double bonus situation yet. All right, so here we go. Coming out of the timeout, we'll let you know who the boxes come out. 3.32 left in the game. They'll get the lead of seven now for the boxes. They had a big lead, but the Tiger ball came back and they competed. All right, so we're going to go with Bento, Reed, Biddle, Blakely and Robinson. The Tigers are going to go with Mass, Stewart, Santos, Lopes, and Harry. And we're underway with 3.30 left in the game. Now Lopes, covered by Robinson, the senior. He doesn't want his season to end. Santos over to Stewart, over to Harry. Back over to Lopes. They try to move it around the perimeter. Robinson almost picked his pocket. Lopes for three. That won't go. Rebound Robinson for Brockton. And Blakely, three minutes left in the game. The winner of this game will take on the winner of Catholic Memorial and BC High. Good call right there. Santos uh, initiated the contact. So now we're in the single bonus. We talked about that starting this period. So everyone back home knows the situation that they can't see on their monitor. On their TV, listen. That's <laughs> right. the first. Blakely has a chance to extend the boxer's lead to so, nine. Yeah, you saw the contact right there on the replay. The lead is eight. Here comes Harry. Now Stewart. Over to Mass. Back to Jeff. Santos for three. Won't go. Rebound. Gonna have a foul on the floor. On oh. number 15, they're gonna get Stewart with the push. It's about time. See, you know, I know what's getting me. When you watch the officials give it to the scorekeeper, they're switching their hands. So I'm like, who's number 51? <laughs> you know? Exactly. All right, so Bento has a chance to, uh, again, he knows he can. Just have to hit them both. First one is up. That's the first one. Misses the first one. Reed is still eight. Lopes, nice job by Reed, heads up. And those one-on-ones, they're so important that you, you really need to make that first free throw to get your um, second chance at two points. Absolutely. Harry. From the corner on the inbound, Santos way over to Lopes, was a nice look. Won't go, rebound Bento. Long pass for Biddle. He's gonna try, oh, he lost the ball. Tough break right there for Biddle. He's usually sure-handed. He saw, he saw Stewart. He did over his shoulder. Over his shoulder coming in for the defensive play. Tough break right there for the boxers. Could have put this um, game up by 10. 2.25 left, and they're gonna get Biddle with a push. Yeah, it's contact. And now, now Harry will go to the charity stripe, and they're in the double bonus, so he gets two automatic. 2.23 left in the game. Again, the winner of this will take on the winner of the BC High, the Boston College High in Catholic Memorial. And this is the first. It's gonna be funny that when they break down the tape, what this, what you know, how this game actually played out. Biddle, Bowen's gonna to try to come yep, calm calm down. down. Well, yep. Hits the second. Lead is seven. 
Now Blakely. Robinson has a look thinking about shooting. Now will stop because Bowen said set something up. He was thinking about shooting that, that yeah. baseline shot. I think he wants them to run out a little bit of that clock. Absolutely. That's tipped. Blakely there. 10 seconds now. Bento baseline. Won't go. Rebound tipped. Covered by the Tigers. Now the other baseline. Mass for three. That won't go. Rebound Brockton. Reed now double team. Trying to get out of it. And he does. That was a good timeout right there. That was a heads up play. Timeout, yeah. timeout, Brockton. 141 left in the game. 50, for, as you can see, 54 47. And Brockton is slowly getting their composure back. But not before a very, very relentless and very well coached and very athletic Taunton Tigers basketball program. Yeah, Taunton, Taunton Tigers still clawing at it. But Brockton's holding their own. Holding Absolutely. down the fort. Absolutely. Like you said, one minute, 41 seconds left. They need to come down here and score a basket. Yep. And really put the pressure on Taunton. That'll decide if Catholic Memorial wins, if I believe, if I'm reading this right, they're the number one seed. So to Brockton High or Taunton High will go to Catholic Memorial. If BC High upsets Catholic Memorial, then they will come here you know, if I read that right, as my man is checking out the numbers for me. All right, as we come out of the timeout, the Brockton timeout, we got Biddle, Blakely, Robinson, Reed, and Benton. Tom's going with Stewart, Mass, Santos, Lopes. They tried to ISO at half court, they couldn't do it. Yeah, nice job by Brockton, break the press. Now Blakely, he got, he got hit. He's just trying to not get hit anymore. He's gonna work it around 10 seconds now. And then we're gonna foul. That whistle better have blown. Blakely needs to make, make, make this shot. Officially 122 left in the game. And again, a 54-47 lead as Blakely will shoot the one and one. Here's the first shot. And here comes Harry. They gotta move quicker, down by seven. Here's a steal by Robinson, nice move. He'll slow it down over to Blakely. Uh, that is that is sportsmanship right there. You had a chance to add to it, and you're just gonna eat up the clock. But the way the, way the, um, the, way the refs have been, that was so easy, I would have put the two up. That's, easy two. That's a class act by Coach yes, Bowen. I understand. He could I understand. Easily, you I could, you could, remember, you could, have had, you could have had Robinson shooting the baseline three. Yeah. But, but that was even easier. Oh, uh, okay. It's that one. Trying to extend, extend the Brockton lead to nine. So one minute left, still a lot of basketball left. This is the second. A minute left in the game. Now Lopes trying to move. And they're gonna get Blakely. Coach Bowen's going out of his mind. I don't think he wanted- No, he didn't the, want that. That the defense to be that when he took the shot. Absolutely. 48.1 tenths of a second left. And Harry's gonna shoot three, I believe. Hits the first. This game is getting interesting, folks. Hits the second. Chance to cut the Brockton lead to five. He does. Timeout, timeout Taunton. 48.1 tenths of a second. The box is 55. The Tigers 50. We got a game now. Yeah, if, with 48 seconds, I think the Tigers are gonna come out and try to foul because I think he, they know that Coach Bowen's gonna have his team try to run some time off this clock. 
They've got a 30 second clock, 48 seconds left in the ball game. Absolutely. So uh, it's gonna be a cat and mouse game between these two coaches. Yep. Absolutely. We apologize, we were trying to get everybody, I know it's gonna be the show, the game's gonna be, you know, shown later on Brockton Access TV, but we were hoping to get some type of update from Catholic Memorial High School, but. All right, so we come out of the break. We'll let you know how Brockton come out. Taunton comes out with Harry, Santos, Lopes, Stewart, and Mass. Brockton comes out with Robinson, Beto, Bento, uh, Reed, and Blakely. And, and it's a five-point game, 55 to 50. So big. And oh, Bento lost the ball. Lost control for three, Lopes. That's long. Santos now trying to do something. 25 seconds clock, blocked by Reed Bento now. And the game is over. And he'll foul him and Bento will go to the charity strike. Well, we still got 19 seconds left and the way this game's been going, Dom. As, you, as, um, as um, yo, Casey Stingle said, the game ain't over till it's over. That's right. That's exactly right. Especially in the game of basketball. So do you want to do the post-game interview? No, that's fine. Go ahead. All right, so we'll pick a player and I'll talk to him? Okay. No problem. So you pick the player of the game, and I'll talk to him after the game. Okay. All right, here we go. Like, like, like Miles said, 19.4 tenths of a second left. The lead is seven. That helps. It's a, um, a three-possession ball game right now. Long off balance three by Santos. Lopes turns around baseline, wow. hits. Time out. Time out Taunton, 57, 53, 8.2 tenths of a second. Two possession game right now. Yep. Box has got to break the press and try to run this clock out. Absolutely. Because you know Taunton's going to be scrambling to try to foul. Oh yeah. As quick as possible. So whoever's inbounding the ball has to really have their eyes open on the whole court. Look for the man down, down, down at the uh, other end of the court because they're going to be pressing where the ball is. Yes, sir. Absolutely. Again, the winner of this will play the winner of Catholic Memorial in Boston College High School. I'm Dominic Damiano, joined by Miles Jackson, the rest of the Brockton Community Access TV sports crew. We hope you enjoying it. We hope you enjoying this game as much as we love bringing it to you. In the crowd, the Brockton crowd pretty much know this game's over. They are starting to leave. Well, actually, most of them they're just filing around the court. Off the inbound. <laughs> And Robinson will go to the charity stripe with 6.8 tenths of a second left. Yeah, that was about a little bit less than two seconds. Went off the clock. Good free throw shooter at the free throw line. That was a good job of the inbound pass going to one of the better free throw shooters on the boxes, um, Todd Robinson. Absolutely. This is the first. It's going to be a tough, tough hill for Tottenham. To, to, um, to climb, there you go. Still a, uh, still a two possession game, but they've only got six seconds on the clock. Long pass, tipped, and Blakely, they'll let it go. He almost hit it. Got his rebound, he's gonna finish off the glass. And that's how the game will end. With your score, the Brockton boxes 60, the Taunton Tigers 58. Miles is gonna go get us a player of the game. We're gonna talk to him real fast. Yeah, so don't go nowhere, anybody. We're gonna give an interview with one of the stars of the game. Who are you picking? Well, it, it was a tough game. They, Brockton played a great team, team offense and team defense, but I have to say Bento, the big man, got a lot of key rebounds, made some big outside shots. I'm going to have to give it to the big man. All right, so we'll get Mr. Bento over here. He's our player of the game. All right, I have the pleasure to be joined here by Mr. Ro 
Raymond Bento, as we finish up the game, they gave you everything you thought they were going to give you tonight? Uh, yeah, it was a really challenging game for me and my teammates, but uh, thanks to our coaching staff and our will to fight, we were able to pull the wins out tonight. I saw a couple times when you guys were foaming at the mouth to just do a easy layup, but you were following the game plan. You knew you had the game pretty much in hand. You didn't want to give them anything free, so you passed the ball around the perimeter, didn't give them anything. That they had to earn everything. Great job. Yes, sir. It was a great win by me and my teammates. Like you said, we had to bite our tongues on some of those three balls, some of those easy layups, just to let the clock run out so we can secure this win. Hey, good game, young man. Good Thank luck you. the next round. Thank you. Have a good day. You too. All right, four miles, Jackson. And the rest of the Brockton Community Access TV crew, we hope you enjoyed this broadcast of Brockton High School Basketball. We will catch you next time. Everyone have a fantastic weekend.